Welcome to the beautiful campus of St. Ignatius High School. My name is Sergeant Wilfredo Diaz, and it is my extreme honor to be the master of ceremony as we dedicate this roadway to a great man, great husband, father, public servant, and hero to all our community, Officer Wei Leon. I cannot think of a better place to rename or a better roadway to rename than Officer Wei Leon. This roadway is in front of the precise location where a young Wei Leon at one point walked around and eventually graduating from this famed alma mater, St. Ignatius High School. Today we are blessed with a beautiful day and as we give start to the ceremony, I would invite you to stand as we welcome the Cleveland Police and Cleveland Fire Honor Guard who will present the colors, followed by the singing of the national anthem by the St. Ignatius Chorus Class of 2023. And following that, I will ask that you remain standing for an opening prayer. the dawn's early light, what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that And of the free In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
In the book of the prophet Isaiah, the great prophet proclaims, a voice cries out in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, we gather in your sight to dedicate a highway in the memory of your son, our brother, Officer Wayne Leon. As we keep his memory alive with this dedication, fill our hearts, we pray, with the peace only your consolation can give. Inspire us all to live and to love as men and women for others, even as Officer Leon did in his short days on earth to give and not count the cost, to fight and not heed the wounds, to toil and not seek for rest, to labor and not ask for reward, only to do your holy will. May his example of giving the last full measure of devotion for the service and protection of all be the highway that guides us all in our journey to everlasting life with you. In the words of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we have the courage to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Saint Ignatius Loyola, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Father Gio. I would like to now welcome a very special leader in our law enforcement community who will share some opening remarks. But you can have a seat, sorry. Let's skip that part. Please welcome United States Marshal Pete Elliott. Well, thank you so much for inviting me here today. I never, ever thought as a St. Edward graduate, I would be saying these words. It is great to be here at St. Ignatius. But it is truly an honor to be here, to be part of this event, to remember Wayne and honor his dedication and his sacrifice. Wayne Leon was truly a man for others, a man of faith, a devoted husband, a loving father, a son, a brother, a dedicated law enforcement officer who wanted to make a difference, and he did. His impact on our community has been significant and long-lasting, long-lasting in so, so many ways. Some of you know that Wayne was the inspiration behind our creation of a Northern Ohio Violent Fugitive Task Force, which was created, it created in his memory and which has made mo now more than 55,000 arrests of violent fugitives since 2003. We are celebrating our 20-year anniversary this summer, one partnership throughout 40 counties of Northern Ohio, which is now has 125 partner agencies, including our outstanding partners here in the city of Cleveland with the Cleveland Police Department. And I'd like to just take a second to recognize our task force back there, made up of Cleveland officers, sheriffs, and deputy U.S. marshals. Thank you for being here. <clears throat> Each year, each and every year, as we, as we have done for decades, we honor Wayne's memory at our annual awards ceremony, presenting the Wayne Leon Task Force Officer of the Year Award, our highest, highest award, to the officer who embodies the dedication and spirit of Wayne, who put their lives on the line and arrested the most violent, who goes above and beyond to make a difference 
and make our communities safe just as Wayne did. And each year we look forward to having Grace every single year whose dedication and strength we all admire present this award. It means so much to us and to the officers who are recognized. So thank you, Grace. And today, as we dedicate this Memorial Highway to Wayne, here in front of this place, St. Ignatius, this great school that meant so, so much to him and helped shape him into the person he became, we are reminded of the lives he has touched. And we honor, honor his memory with the good that he has done and will continue to be done. And we know and we all believe, the men and women of the Northern Ohio Violent Fugitive Task Force believe, after every arrest we make of a violent fugitive, that Wayne is still making a tremendous difference. Thank you. Thank you, Marshal Elliott, for those words. I'd like to now invite uh, Chief of Police, Team of Police, my boss, Wayne Drummond. Good morning. Thank you for allowing me to say a few words. Uh, standing here outside of St. Ignatius High School, I'm reminded of an old motto that our police cruisers used to have emblazoned on their side. It said, our men serve all men. That reference only to men may seem outdated now, but I can assure you that the spirit of those words are embodied in every single woman and man on our police force today. Service is our product, and people are, are I'm sorry, and people are our sole unwavering focus. St. Ignatius High School has a very similar motto, men for others, men for others. Three simple but powerfully direct words. These words are meant to inspire young men to use all their God-given talents, not solely to enrich themselves, but rather to use their talents to serve others. St. Ignatius High School and the Cleveland Division of Police are united in a single purpose, a mission to serve others. In 1986, a young man named Wayne Leon graduated from St. Ignatius High School. Young Mr. Leon took to heart what the Jesuits and the late teachers taught him within the walls of this school. Mr. Leon became Officer Leon when in 1994, he answered the call to serve to service by becoming a Cleveland police officer. Officer Leon loved his job. He sincerely cared for the citizens of Cleveland. He had fun working with his partners, many of whom are here today. He dearly loved his family, Grace, Justin, Gabrielle, and Nick. Also, Leon went on to serve with distinction, earning the highest possible award, the Medal of Honor. His future was bright, but with service, oftentimes comes sacrifice. Sometimes, it is financial. Wayne Leon could have taken a more lucrative job. Sometimes the sacrifice is time away from the family. He could have taken a job where he could be home every night, every weekend, and every holiday. Some sacrifices are inconvenient, some others more painful, and sometimes it is the ultimate sacrifice. On June 25th, 2000, Officer Wayne Leon paid that ultimate sacrifice. He left behind a grieving family, friends, and co-workers. Today, we honor that sacrifice. Today, we name a street in his honor, a street that runs through the heart of an institution that exemplifies the mission of service to others. Officer Wayne A. Leon, you are an inspiration to others. Officer Wayne A. Leon, you truly were a man for others. Thank you. The 
So a couple years ago, uh, Grace reached out to uh, St. Ignatius High School, myself, school resource officer here, and uh, Richard Klingshern, and mentioned that there was a work in progress to rename this road. And um, when she finally gave us the, the confirmation, we were excited. And uh, one person uh, of a few that led this was uh, Senator Nikki Antonio, who co-sponsored this bill. I'd like for her to come up and say a few words. Thank you, Senator. Good morning. This is the, a bittersweet part of our job. It's wonderful to acknowledge a hero and to name a road. Bittersweet because it means that we lost someone so dear to so many. But I want to thank all of you here today, uh, President Guyano, Marshall Elliott, Sergeant Diaz, Chief Drummond, uh, my legislative colleagues who are here today, Representative Michael Skindle, Representative Tom Patton, Councilman McCormick, I think is also here, um, and members of the Leon family, especially Grace. Um, but all of you for being here today to dedicate an enduring marker in, in memory of Wayne Allen Leon, officer, friend, husband, father, family man. Those are the kinds of attributes that have been uh, already talked about with Officer Leon. And we're here to designate this portion of State Route 10 in Cleveland, known as Lorraine Avenue, but from here forward, this section will be known as Officer Wayne A. Leon Memorial Highway. We've talked about his service, the fact that he was appointed to the Cleveland Police Department in the 110th Academy class, graduated in June of 1994, assigned to the 3rd District Basic Patrol. He was known amongst his peers as a genuine, honest, and sincere public servant who worked tirelessly on behalf of others. He was a dedicated family man who called home each night during his shift to say good night to each of his children. During his six and a half years of service, he received many commendations from the community from, for his service. In 1998, he was awarded, as has been mentioned, the Cleveland Police Department's highest award, the Medal of Honor, for his devotion to a city he so diligently served. Officer Leon often said, you can't tell me we're not making a difference out there. Right, Grace? While touring the zone in the third district, I'm struck as I look around by our public servants that are here from fire and police, by the dedicated public servants that go out every day, walk out the door, say goodbye to their loved ones, and don't know if they're going to be returning home that night to say hello. The gravity of that is with us here today, as should our appreciation be for the fine public service who make our lives protected every single day. I think they deserve a round of applause. Officer Leon's memory is kept alive by his wife, Grace, and their children, Justin, Gabrielle, and Nicholas. They carry on also the tradition of public service that was modeled by both of their parents. The Northern Ohio Fugitive, Violent Fugitive Task Force created in his memory, as well as the Cleveland Heroes Run and many scholarships every year on June 25th, Officer Leon's legacy carries on with random acts of Law Enforcement Kindness Day, during which police, local police carry out random acts of kindness in their communities. I can't think of a more fitting memorial than knowing that there's going to be a marker on this highway so that people pass it and see it, especially in front of his beloved 
alma mater and the alma mater of, of his two sons, um, but also in a community that he loved and that he gave the ultimate sacrifice to continue to keep the people here safe. Thank you. I do want to mention, I'm sorry, I do want to mention that both Representative uh, Skindell and Patton uh, from the Ohio House of Representatives and I have a conversation from the Ohio Senate that will know that the Ohio General Assembly did good work in passing the bill to finally make this possible. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. I'd like to now invite Councilman Kerry McCormick, who graciously, graciously accepted the invitation here and uh, to say a few words. Councilman. Well, good morning, everyone. And what a high honor it is for me to be here today on behalf of Cleveland City Council to honor Officer Wayne Leon. And I think it's appropriate that God is shining a beautiful sunny day on all of us today, not only to uh, remember Officer Leon's uh, legacy, but to continue to look forward to the impact he has in our community. You know, we, we've heard a lot about Officer Leon today, but as the Senator noted, looking around at all the public servants that are here today that protect our community, uh, we know that his legacy lives in each and every one of us uh, every single day. But thinking about the impact that our Cleveland police officers do on a daily basis for all of our residents and the sacrifice that they give to ensure that Clevelanders can live in a safe city, and that is so much a part of his legacy, the every single day acts that our police officers and our firefighters provide on behalf of the city of Cleveland. So I want to thank them all here as well. The city of Cleveland and Cleveland City Council are honored to recognize really the renaming of one of Cleveland's most prominent roads uh, in recognition of Officer Leon's legacy and his continued impact. And in that name, on behalf of every single council member, uh, we are proud to provide a resolution of commemoration uh, that will be in the public record of the city of Cleveland forever. So not only will these signs publicly show uh, this recognition, but this commemoration voted in unanimously by council will be in the record for the great, 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 great grandkids and friends and family when they go on whatever Google exists at that point uh, to look up this memory. But it is truly a high honor to present uh, this resolution of commemoration. And I'll just read the first couple lines. On behalf of all of City Council, the members of Cleveland City Council, as well as the citizens of the city of Cleveland, are sincerely humbled to join the family members, dear friends and colleagues in commemoration of the life and legacy of Patrol Officer Wayne Leon's sacrifice to our city as they gather today, uh, July 24th, 2023, at his beloved alma mater, St. Ignatius High School, for a dedication ceremony naming a section of Lorraine Avenue from West 30th Street to West 65th as the Officer Wayne A. Leon Memorial Highway. So again, thank you all for being here. The city is proud uh, to present this resolution and to recognize Officer Leon and his family. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman. Uh, before we get to our final speaker, uh, I'd just like to make a few special mentions. Uh, I'd like to thank our, uh, our chief for being here, our command staff for the Cleveland Police Department, uh, Fire, Cleveland Fire, uh, Chief Gorey, who reached out right away and uh, assisted with this, um, the FBI for being present here as well. Um, a little side story is uh, when we started meeting to, to plan this out, um, within a few days, uh, some folks were blowing up my phone like, hey, how come I don't know about this? I'm like, we're just starting to plan it. Uh, but uh, those, uh, some of those uh, folks that were calling were Ignatius alum, uh, which demonstrates a brotherhood that these uh, officers and safety forces have. So I'd like to thank all the Ignatius alum here who are to my right here, because um, they uh, show, demonstrate the brotherhood that Wayne had, and we're very happy to have you guys here. And I'd like to also acknowledge um, our St. Ignatius football team who cut their practice just a tad bit short. We don't need it, right? We're going to win anyway. So um, there's a couple, a few young men back there uh, who probably are wearing uh, Wayne Leon's badge number, 1938. So let's give him a round of applause. 
And also, I heard through the grapevine that Wayne was one of the strongest players here in the St. Nations High School, and I heard he was also one of the strongest recruits. So uh, in honor of Wayne, we also are wearing his badge, no, his correction, his football number, number 39 here at St. Nations High School. And, and finally, I'd like to acknowledge and thank um, Richard Klingshern, uh, Vice President, who recently retired. He's still working. And uh, Jen, Sergeant Jen Chach, John Schausler, who, who put this together and organized this. And you know everybody jumped in and, and, and helped out. Um, thank you to uh, Commander Sacco and everybody who helped make this possible in regards to um, making the ceremony as beautiful as it should be. Uh, so our final speaker, we saved the best for last. I'm going to have uh, Grace Leon come up here and share a few words. Grace. Good morning, everyone. Freddie didn't mention he, he was the main person that organized everything. So thank you, Freddie. Today, my children and I are overwhelmed with gratitude and appreciation for the officer Wayne A. Leon Memorial Highway. We would like to thank Senator Nikki Antonio for sponsoring the bill, St. Ignatius High School, the City of Cleveland Division of Police and Division of Fire, U.S. Marshals, and the Cleveland FBI, and the City of Cleveland for the love and support for making this dedication a beautiful event honoring Wayne. The catalyst that made this highway a reality is my friend and fellow survivor, Connie Moyer, who's here with us today. She is the surviving spouse of Scott Moyer, killed May 26, 2017. 23 years ago today, oh, excuse me, 23 years ago, Wayne's funeral procession traveled down this road. We passed this school, St. Ignatius, where Wayne proudly attended. A banner was held in the hands of future Wildcats as we drove past. The, heart, the banner was a heartfelt tribute of Wayne's classmates from 1986. From the beginning, the St. Ignatius community has always honored Wayne and supported our family. Wayne spent four years of his life here. That time shaped him into the person he was, into the person I fell in love with shortly after he graduated. One of his dreams was that his boys would attend St. Ignatius High School to follow his legacy. When the boys were very young, Father Kasicki told me, you know, your boys are gonna learn so much about their father when they walk the same, the same halls he did. Those words are powerful because of the reality of them being so young and their memories being so few. Justin graduated in 2013 and Nicholas graduated in 2016. They walked these halls and they followed in their father's footsteps. We all did. We all chose careers to help those that suffered serious misfortune or are hurting in some, some way. I believe as a result of Wayne's loss, it evoked passion to help make a difference like Wayne did by patrolling these streets. It is my hope that Wayne's Memorial Highway not only preserves his memory, but is an example to the young men that walk this campus of great faith, love of family, dedication to community, duty, sacrifice, and is an example of a man for others. Thank you so much. Thank you, Grace. I failed to mention uh, Olmsted Falls Mayor Jim Grave, and I thought I saw him somewhere here. Oh, there he is, <laughs> sticking over. Thank you so much for being here, uh, Mayor. And uh, finally, also I'd like to thank uh, Director of Security Tim Higgins, who helped coordinate all the traffic stuff here. 
So as we conclude the ceremony, uh, just a couple quick instructions. We're going to file out around the corner here to where the fence is so we can do the unveiling of the sign. And then right after, uh, I'd like to invite everyone that can stay for some refreshments here uh, to the left of me. Um, so uh, thank you so much for attending. Uh, when we file out over there, we're going to have uh, just a couple words, and then we'll have the unveiling so we can proceed to filing out. Thank you so much.